So if you're selling products or services using Squarespace, you're going to want to be able to connect things and uh, have your commerce set up. So here you see they've named this commerce, but it really is more about products and services. To really get into commerce, you have to go to settings, and then you go down to the bottom where it says commerce and you'll see uh, it has a list of different things you can control from here and so let's click on payments now payments allows you to connect either your stripe account or your paypal which will then allow you to actually take um, uh, you know the income that comes from selling products and have it deposited into your account from your customers so you'll need to either set up with stripe or paypal and then when you click on one of these buttons you'll be able to actually connect them and then the store currency um, is going to be determined in what kind of currency you're using. For example, if you're based in the United States, it would be USD, but it does give you the option to change it. Okay, so we come down here to the next uh, the next button. It's checkout. So checkout really allows you to uh, control what it's going to be like for the experience, the user experience, when your customers purchase products or services from you. And abandoned checkout recovery is essentially... Um, allowing you to uh, touch base with people who maybe had something in the cart or they were about to buy something and then they walk away. It's essentially um, a, a last effort to try to get and retain a customer who may be walking away or leaving the site. And newsletters, just so you are aware, as we've mentioned many times, how important it is to gather the data from your customer. MailChimp can be also integrated right here so that as they're leaving, it allows the customers to subscribe to a newsletter. And they're going to be much more likely to want to do that if they're actually purchasing a product. So that gives you an added opportunity to get their information for future uh, marketing or future mailings. This is the default country in the address uh, fields. Uh, you would just put the country that you are in. And then also shipping and billing address. Um, use shipping address as the billing address by default. So let's say the person lives at one main street and you want to ship to one main street. By clicking this, it's going to assume that they have the same shipping and billing address unless they otherwise specify that those addresses are different and you can choose whether or not you want to have it as a default. And then Express Checkout is an option. You can enable that and it allows customers to bypass the cart and go directly to checkout. And as it says here, it's recommended for single product stores. Ideally, you wouldn't want to do that unless you're only selling one product. You'd want them to shop around and maybe add some more stuff to the cart. And then Shopping Cart Style um, allows you to change the scheme. Uh, to a light color scheme if you want to okay so continue shopping link and cart uh, this what it does is it directs customers to a specific page on your site where they click continue shopping um, on an empty cart page so that allows them if for example they say yes I'd like to continue shopping you could then choose okay which page would I like to take them to so that you could redirect them back to uh, looking at your products and then service products quantity uh, allows you to either display or not display the show quantity field um, and that's really up to you and then when it comes to uh, order numbers um, each order will be assigned a different number okay um, and the number of your next order you can determine it right here so because it leaves space so it could be one or it could be two and that's up to you what you'd like to make it okay and notice how there's all these zeros here the reason that is there is because let's say you put in one the next one is going to be zero 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 two and then zero 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 three and the reason there's so many numbers here is so that there's enough space uh, with all these different digits to add multiple orders in here okay and then you have the option of collecting additional fields and check out page store policies if you'd like to add that and then also invoices now with invoices you can actually show the pre-tax price with uh with it you could show tax for each item 
uh, the pre-tax total. And this is all stuff that you need to, um, you know, determine based on what your specific business needs are. Check out store policies. You can actually put those in here. And then also the um, additional fields. Okay. So you could get, you know, like phone numbers. Um, you could collect a checkout page, a custom form. So they could uh, get some extra information over to you. And these are really things you need to determine on your own. So come back to here. And you could see that it also covers uh, not only customer accounts and um, customer, I'm sorry, customer accounts and, um, and notifications, which we have here. Uh, this will also uh, give a reply to uh, customers if they send a customer support email or an email to customer support. And um, it shows where the actual email is coming from. So you can kind of, uh, you can set this up so that it comes from a specific person at your organization who maybe handles customer service. Okay. And this is, you know, when an order is confirmed, an order is fulfilled, an order is refunded, abandoned checkout. This allows you to customize where the emails are coming from and the subject lines and the titles of the emails and the messages that are contained within those emails. And you could play with this all day. Um, you just need to figure out what message you need to get across at each phase and then you need to be able to actually put that together. Okay, so that kind of covers uh, the notifications. Then shipping actually allows you to connect with um, different uh, shipping providers. So let's add a shipping option here. You can actually charge a flat rate or depending on the weight of the product, or you can actually connect up with FedEx and UPS here and USPS. And you can actually see what kind of mail you want to set up, USPS, uh, priority, or retail. And then you can have markups here. And then you can put a ship from zip code. And so you can actually, they can actually determine when they're buying the product, where it is uh, being shipped from, because you've put your zip code. And then they can actually figure out what the cost is going to be and get that estimate while they're purchasing the product. And you can actually add flat rate bonuses, custom containers, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of room here for customization uh, for shipping as well. Now for taxes, um, if you want to streamline your whole process in, in that regard, you can actually create an account uh, which will connect here and that will save you a lot of hassle. Actually, that is right here, accounting. You could add a zero... Uh, account. So if you already have a zero account, you could just connect right here and it integrates. But if you don't have a zero account already, uh, you can learn a little bit about it. And if it's something you decide to connect, it could streamline your accounting processes. Now let's go back to tax. I just skipped over it real quick. All right. So in terms of taxes, you can add your country and then you can add the tax rate. Uh, you could charge tax on shipping, or choose not to, uh, charge tax on services, or choose not to. Um, I can't give you any advice on this. You need to understand the tax laws in your area and, um, and then apply those accordingly. Okay, and then after accounting, you also have donations, which you can, um, you know, get donation confirmations in case someone donates. So this is where you would set up the donation um, subject line, title, and, and message uh, to thank the customer. And this shows you how it would look to them if they were to go ahead and give you a donation. So that covers most of the commerce uh, stuff. You might want to dig through um, and learn a little bit more about you know shipping and, and uh, notifications. This is super customizable, and you just need to kind of sift through it and, and make your own custom responses to each phase in the order process.